Good job. Case 16. All right, here we have a shave with um, some good ballooning degeneration of keratinocytes here. Uh, and what looks to be like a vesicle, um, you know, almost full thickness in the epidermis, but not quite. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, as we look closer, we can see um, some larger cells, mega, some some uh, multinucleation, um, some margination. Um, all makes it good for like a HSV. Yeah. Uh, picture here. This is really, really good um, cytology. Even with the lower quality scan, you can see good margination, dark border of the nucleus, the nucleus smashed against and molding against the neighboring keratinocyte nuclei. Five or six nuclei clustered together in one cell here, and they're all way bigger. Look at those. And then let's go look at some normal over here, skin. So just like we said with the molluscum, look, normal size, and then way, they're starting to get way bigger so the, the mega, the fourth M, good job. And acantholysis, right? The cells are falling apart and rounding up. When, when the cells lose connection with their neighbors, the keratinocytes, they round up. And that's how we know it's really acantholysis rather than just regular spongiosis, uh, for example. So I find oftentimes the edge, the periphery of the blister or the ulcer, is where I'm more likely to find intact, viable uh, keratinocytes with uh, cytopathic uh, HSV or VZV herpes cytopathic effect. Look, dying keratinocytes, kind of mimicking um, a vacuolar interface here a little bit. So that, again, remember that you can sometimes have uh, dying keratinocytes and interface change in herpes. And um, also dirty necrosis, I find that really helpful either in a blister with acantholysis or even just an open ulcer with no blister roof because a lot of times the, the they ulcerate by the time they're biopsied. So I'd say it's only a minority of cases I get that have this beautiful intact and necrotic blister roof. You can see the whole blister roof is dead and is composed of necrotic cells with herpes viral effect. You're seeing the ghost of them, right? And sometimes you can see like nucle like a nuclear inclusion. I feel like sometimes I see that better in the dead uh, nuclei, like a, a reddish dot in the middle. But here's more viral change. Really nice example of herpes.